Hello, I am Gertrude. I am Chinese from Malaysia. Should you have any problem understanding my English, YouTube does have a closed caption button. It is on lower right hand corner with the letter CC on it. I hear crystals. As incredible as it may sound, I hear crystals. This crystal, as you can see, is whole. I have dropped this crystal four times and four times it healed itself. Or so I thought until Rahasha told me I am the one who healed it. As incredible as it may sound, I have to believe it. I will introduce this session with something from Nikola Tesla. In a crystal, we have clear evidence of the existence of a formative life principle. And though we cannot understand the life of a crystal, it is nonetheless a living being. Nikola Tesla. I will begin the story with an email from Diane's Tarot. As we move into the story, you will see the connection. Over a year ago, out of the blue, I received an email from Diane's Tarot. She told me that she has a message from my spirit guides. The message from my spirit guides was that I need to start working with crystals to learn how to heal myself and others. And if I do not listen to them, they are going to move or throw my crystals. She went on to tell me she knew it sounds strange. It did sound very strange. My response was, throw away my crystals. I didn't see how they could throw away my crystals. I took the message, but I didn't pay very much attention to it. All that talk on crystals, and I remember a crystal ball I put away. This crystal ball. What happened was, over five years ago, one day I dropped it by accident and it cracked. It had a circular crack inside. It hurt so much, I put it aside in this container and I had not looked at it since. I decided to examine the crack and learn how to live with it. So I went to get the crystal and much to my surprise, the crack was gone. It was just a little ding on it. I held it in my hands and after a few hours, that ding disappeared. I thought this has to be some kind of a magical crystal. And since it's so magical, I was going to carry it with me wherever I go. So I put it in my handbag. The following day at work, I took it out to show it to my client and it dropped to the floor. I pick it up again, that crack, one circular crack. I really hurt over it. And then I comforted myself. If it healed itself before, it likely will heal itself again. So I held it and I pray over it. And amazingly, with each hour, the crack slowly disappeared. And at the end of my shift, the crystal was whole again. A few weeks later, I wanted to heal the dog Belina. So I took the crystal out. The moment I had it in my hand, it fell again. The same thing, I picked it up and there was that circular crack again. Again, I was very dismayed. I mean, every time it happened, I had no guarantee it would heal itself again. And again, I told myself, if it healed itself before, it will heal. It should heal itself again. Again, I took it in my hand. I pray over it. And the same thing happened. With each hour, the crack become less and less. And after six hours, it healed itself completely. So I began to believe crystals do heal itself. One would have thought I have learned my mistake, but no. 
I still carry it around in my handbag. And a few months later, I took it out again, wanting to heal the dog Belina, who had pancreatitis and scores of other health issues. I took it out and again, it dropped to the floor. But this time, unlike the first two times where it dropped and slide on the floor, this time it dropped on the floor and it bounced three times as high as that, like a ball. I pick it up and this time it was badly cracked. There were three cracks on it. And I was really devastated. I told myself again, if it will heal before, it should heal again. But with something like that, there is no assurance. So again, I went through the same thing. I held it in my hand and this time I learned how to blow. I thought maybe my warm breath will help help heal it. And at the end of the day, the three cracks heal. By this time, I finally made the connection. When my spirit guides threatened to throw my crystal, he did it three times. He just threw it. I have not dropped anything in years. There was no reason why I would drop the crystal. I would take it out and instantly it would just fall and drop to the floor. And so I realized that was how my spirit guide did it. Before I go further, I'll show you features of the crystal ball. So here are features of the crystal ball. The ones with one crack was how it cracked the first three times. It was just a circular crack. And the ones with the two and one big crack, you know, it was like two crack on one side and another crack on the back. That is from the last one. I guess my spirit guide said, well, since the first two times didn't do it for her, I will really drop it the third time. And that was when it not only fell down and rolled, it bounced like a ball three times before I caught hold of it. At one station with Rahasha, I had some time. And I remember the crystal ball. So I grabbed the crystal ball and I showed it to him. I told him, this crystal ball is able to heal itself. And his response was, he told me the crystal ball is not healing itself because a crystal ball cannot heal itself, but that I can heal the crystal. He said that this is a healing ability I have, that I have been shown again and again that I have this ability and each time I rejected it. He said the crystal will stop breaking if I accept the fact that I am a healer. He told me I can heal many things, not just people, but crystals, gemstones, and rocks. And that it should also help me understand my potential for healing plants, animals, and people. All that took place a year ago. And to be honest, I haven't done very much with healing with crystals. I am a Reiki master, so I do use Reiki, applying it as distant healing with my work as hospice volunteer. But from now on, I might bring this crystal with me on my hospice shift and use it to help the hospice patient I sit with. And if it doesn't break, it means I believe I am a healer. Last week, when I came across the quote of Nikola Tesla on crystal, it helps me believe in crystals. I like what he said about crystal being a living being. So with this, I conclude the story.